Pune, Bengaluru and Gurgaon or Gurugram as it has come to be called are the three major cities that are part of the growing knowledge economy. But all of them share strikingly similar infrastructure problems and the most worrying is the water crisis. Gurgaon is situated in a semi-arid area where rain is the main source of recharging groundwater. But as a result of heavy urbanization and industrialization, the runoff from rain goes straight into sewers or stormwater drains, reducing the contribution of rainfall to groundwater recharge. Overexploitation of water causes severe depletion in groundwater resources. The secondary outcome of this is the increase in land subsidence. Whatever rain falls on Gurgaon must be allowed to go down to the aquifers. The only uh, option left to the citizens here in their individual capacity is to recharge wherever they are stationed or housed. Data between 1980 to 2021 in Gurugram district shows decline in number of ponds from 641 to 124, decline in the forest cover from 19% to 9% and also a change in the groundwater level from 10 to 30 MBGL. We for Water is a movement to make India water positive. The core objective of this movement is to build and support water initiatives nationwide through collaboration, innovation and community participation. For Gurgaon, let's put more water back into the ground just so that it's a great place for our children in the future. India is the world's largest user of groundwater. More than 80% of the population is dependent on groundwater for drinking and agricultural purposes. And groundwater extraction rates continue to increase. Gurugram is one of the fastest growing metropolitan cities. An urgent need to address sinking groundwater levels is by creating more rainwater harvesting pits. Our groundwater, we don't use it indiscriminately, but we use it as our FD. So in case there's disruption in the water supply for a short while from the Yamuna, then at least we have enough groundwater to subside, you know, to, to tide over. According to a report published by the Niti Aayog, a think tank of Government of India, 600 million people are facing extreme to high water stress in India. The only way to meet these challenges, we, government, society and corporates work together against it.